Welcome back. I hope you are feeling awesome. As a part of this video, we'll understand what is data mart. Before we know what is data mart, what is data warehouse again? We learned data warehouse is subject oriented, integrated, non volatile, and time variant collection of data to support management decisions. That is the data warehouse. If I ask you a question, how many data warehouses are there in an organization? Any thoughts here? Is it 100, 200, 300? No. Usually, any organizations would have one data warehouse for the whole organization. If the organization is too huge, you may have a couple of more data warehouses. But definitely, the number is not in two digits because it doesn't make sense. Now that we understood we have one data warehouse as a part of the organization, how much of the data is there in a data warehouse? Is it one record, two record? Is it 100 records? We have millions and millions of records as a part of the data warehouse. If you remember, we are trying to get the data from heterogeneous sources, subject that for transformation and load it. We'll definitely have millions and millions of records in data warehouse. So what it means is we do have millions of records which are belonging to the different subjects like sales, product, like account, policy. You will have data related to different subjects as a part of the data warehouse. But why are we creating the data warehouse? To take business decisions. In order to take business decisions, what will you do? You write SQL queries and try to subject the data for analysis. In the data warehouse, we understood we have sales data, products data, we have account data, policy data, claims data, customer data. If you want only sales data, then you write a query to retrieve the sales data. Then do you think it will take a fraction of a second to browse through all the millions of records and give you the sales data? No, it will take time. That is where we need the data mart. So what is data mart then? Data mart is a subset of the data warehouse and it is usually oriented to a specific business line or team or a subject. So data warehouse is a monolithic repository of the data involving multiple subjects, which is one in an organization. If I want a particular subject data, then that is where we'll extract the subset of the data pertinent to particular subjects and make data marks out of it. If I ask you a question, does everybody need to know everything as a part of the organization? Not really. By creating the data marks, we can control the access to the data for different individuals in an organization. It will help us to impose the access. The second thing is, as we already discussed, it will definitely reduce the amount of time taken to retrieve the data. It will enhance the performance. So data mart helps to enhance users response time due to reduction in the volume of the data. See, for example, this is a whole monolithic data. We are reducing the amount of data here, right? So that is the reason it will enhance the query performance. And as compared to the data warehouse, data marts are less expensive to store and help us to do the analysis faster. So that is what is data mart is. Then we have learned about the data warehouse. We have learned about the data mart. How are they different? Let us look at the different dimensions in terms of differences. Here, in terms of scope, data warehouse is a centralized, possibly enterprise-wide system. It doesn't matter which application. So we have only one data warehouse. And definitely, in order to build the data warehouse, it is a planned effort. We may plan for a year or two. On the other hand, data mart is a decentralized by a user area. It is definitely, there will not be only one data mart for an whole organization. And it is specific to the decision support system. We may not plan the data mart in the beginning itself. 
organically depending upon which data is being queried more will create the data match in terms of data in data warehouse will have a historical data that is past data and it is detailed and it is summarized in data warehouse data is lightly denormalized on the other hand data mart the data is highly denormalized what does it mean we'll try to have all the data in one table as much as possible by minimizing the number of tables and the data mart has definitely a history as compared to the data warehouse and it is less detailed as compared to the data warehouse in terms of subjects data warehouse will have multiple subjects we already discussed like product sales accounts like that but data mart will take one of that and will make a data mart out of it it's like a one central subject of a interest for the users how about other characteristics data warehouse is flexible means we can dump any kind of a data here data mart since we have gone to create the data mart which is pertinent to only subject it is restrictive it is data oriented and it is project oriented data warehouses once you create to last for 10 years 20 years but data mart will have a short life it is large as compared to the data mart and it is a single monolithic complex structure on the other hand it is multiple structures and it may become together complex wonderful we understood the different differences of data warehouse and data mart thank you mm -hmm.